Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 42-year-old Tennessee resident and former National Guard Sergeant Jose Padilla, whose full name is Joseph Lino Padilla, he was convicted of crimes he committed at the Capitol. Padilla refused a plea deal, as a bunch of them have now been doing. He opted for a bench trial with U.S. District Judge John Bates. And after several days of testimony, Judge Bates ruled that Padilla was guilty on 10 counts, Two counts of civil disorder, assaulting officers, assaulting officers with a dangerous weapon, civil disorder, obstructing an official proceeding, entering restricted grounds with a dangerous weapon, disorderly conduct on restricted grounds with a dangerous weapon, physical violence on restricted grounds with a dangerous weapon, and disorderly conduct on capital grounds. So at the trial, Padilla was honest about some of his actions, but then not about others. He admitted that he committed some crimes, but he claimed that his violent social media comments were only for, quote, internet cool points. Apparently, he's a big gamer, so he's trying to, like, gain clout online. And Padilla said it's part of the, quote, gaming subculture. And then he called it, quote, political rhetoric, and patriotic bravado. So Judge Bates made it clear he wasn't buying some of this testimony, um, especially about the threats that he made on January 6th. So, for example, at one point during the attack, Padilla had told an officer that if you guys let us into the building, that the, quote, machine will be gone. So obviously it sounds like you're going to take people out, right? Well, Padilla tried to claim that he just meant that Trump would get a second term and that he would, quote, fire everyone he could legally fire and probably fire some people illegally, too. (laughs) So the judge said, quote, I don't credit his self-serving claims that he only intended to follow legal processes. And then Padilla also tried to convince the judge that the police were the ones who provoked the violence uh, because they were striking the mob with the batons. They were spraying chemicals on them. So based on the most serious of the felony convictions, Padilla is facing up to 20 years in prison. Um, You guys know how this goes. It's never going to happen. But the judge scheduled his sentencing hearing for September 13th. So I will definitely let you guys know how that goes down. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it with others, become a subscriber if you have not already. If you can donate, it truly helps to keep the show going. If you can become a monthly supporter, that is even better. (laughs) But every little bit helps. So I appreciate all of you. Love you guys. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. 